Yeah, yeah, we're back here at Stoned and Sexy episode three, man. It's yeah. your boy Ludi. Smoking yeah, with yeah. me is always a movie because I roll the best doobies. <laughs> and I got my beautiful co host, and we have a special guest who we got. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Come on, give us Jay that intro. Jay from chopping up with you from L.A. <laughs> hey. Hey. So better every time. It's hey. Wiz. It's Wiz. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> it's Lainey. That's all I have. I go by a twist. Little twist. Let's go. And it's Char the Star. Yes. <laughs> and we're back here. We're going to have all the noise effects. We're going to get all that cracking. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I got me down there. Twist. Appreciate you pulling course, up, man, brother. to the podcast. Definitely, definitely, we 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 fucked with you always. You know what I'm saying? The shit you've done, the music industry, all that shit. Like, so just like what's been going on with you, you know what I mean? Top us in, top the people in. What's been going on with you? I appreciate y'all having me. You know, where's my brother? Um, yep. Go <laughs> way back to when, when uh, Twitter first started, man. Mm. I was fucking, yeah. fucking with Wiz. But uh, as far as what I got going on, man, I'm still working, still at it. Uh, I've been filming a growing up hip hop show as of late, and um, I've been doing that for like the last five years, man. That's been kind of cool, just getting into a new bag. Um, Camera bag. Yeah. yeah. Once, once yeah. I once I got out of jail, that was just a new. Um, it was like. A, yeah, yeah. It was it was cool. It was, it was new, fresh. How long was you in jail for? Uh, I did a month and twenty eight. Hey. Yeah. yeah. Who has been to jail on this podcast? Who of this podcast has been to jail? Raise your hand. I have. <laughs> <laughs> By the grace of the God. whole stoner. Yeah. California, California got an overpopulation. Oh, uh, <laughs> so, they, so they put me out. Pretty early. Thought it was nah, good behavior. Listen, God yeah. is good, my it nigga. It was overpopulation, not good behavior. Yeah, it wasn't good. Niggas don't normally <laughs> get out of jail for that head. type of reason. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We don't normally get out because shit's overpopulated. So the yeah, fact that you did, edit. nigga, is yeah. like, you know what I mean? Like, that's a blessing in itself. Thanks. You know what I mean? So it's just like, you you get out, new path, new shit, new journey. You know what I mean? Tap in, leave all the old shit behind. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's lit. Yeah, uh, I wanted to ask you, you said the reality TV. I always see that shit we know about the shows like like I don't know if you can give it to us but you know what I mean give us what you can like how much is that like really of it is it like set up Real. like yeah. none of it's uh I don't I don't know about other people's shows because you know my got cousins and shit too that be thinking that shit is all put together you know everybody think I'm the asking for the people <laughs> <laughs> but since I've been on it um None of it's none of it's put together. The only mm -hmm. thing that's really put together is the setting, where like like this. Where is it gonna mm -hmm. be? Yeah, where it's it. gonna be? But um, they just prolong shit. Like they they carry shit out. Me and Wiz could get into it on on actually get into mm -hmm. it on camera, and the next episode they gonna have Wiz tell her, and then she gotta tell you, and they that's gonna they just gonna draw some Telephone. shit out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But but none of it's put together. They just um they very. Yeah, they very lucky. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they gotta be. They get I got a question. Um, the way that I know you is through uh, you streaming Twitter, like you said. Yeah, yeah. We we OG content boys. <laughs> uh, we were we were running around with cameras before niggas thought that shit was cool. When yeah. niggas was like, "What the fuck? Like, why you got a camera?" Or we was finding internet in places where niggas didn't give a they fuck if there was Wi-Fi at. <laughs> So um, being that, you know, you naturally um, spun off into uh, reality TV because of your personality and the connection that you have with your fan base, would you ever do your own show? Yeah, definitely, man. Um, I got that in my, my contract now with, with E1. Oh. Uh, okay. But, you know, they be procrastinating and bullshit. <laughs> What's that coming out? Yeah, this, this is going to be seen everywhere. They be bullshitting. So we haven't actually... Uh, Put it into production, but mm -hmm. it's, I have a spinoff clause, and we just waiting for that conversation to actually come. So. You gotta steal some camera time, bro. You gotta yeah. punch a nigga or something. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> you know what it was? You know what's crazy? Um, I had a uh, this last season. I went back to church. Mm -hmm. Not for camp. Not for the show or nothing. You can cuss on here. Yeah. 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 You smoke right. weed. You can cuss. <laughs> uh, not for the um. 
show or nothing. I had just started back going back to church because that was just a personal decision I wanted to do. And of course, once I told them that before we started filming, um, they wanted to jump all over that. Oh, we would love to mm. film that. We would love to film that. And um, once I let them actually do it, I did a scene in my church with my pastor. Once I let them do that, that show's so messy, <laughs> I actually started to film less mm. when I had a more of a positive storyline. Mm. Mm -hmm. Of course. Um, but the season Crazy. before that, when I'm slapping JoJo or doing mm -hmm. other shit, they had me all We just watched that. that. Yeah. Yeah. That, that just shows, <laughs> bro. JoJo decided to come over to me, and he just felt like a big gangster for some reason, TV World. They hate when men heal. They do. They, they don't hate want them to be like, Didn't you want to so be a I pastor when you were younger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. How I knew I wanted to do music. I, um, I wanted to be a pastor when I was like five years old. Oh, I used yeah. to imitate my my preacher who passed away. He was like that real black pastor who mm. was so loud up on stage. So I really didn't even know what he was saying. I just would go home and okay. imitate what he did. So that's how I knew I wanted to control the crowd. That's fire. Yeah. Love starts in a church. Man, oh man. You single, girlfriend, what you doing? You out here in these streets? What's going on with you? Uh, oh yeah, my God. Man, uh, Let's get into it. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's here about Jeez. I'm chilling right now. I'm pretty single, but... I have some great friends. No, great friends. 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 You live in LA, right? Great friends. Huh? You live in LA, right? Okay, it's hard not to make friends out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a lot. Of <laughs> no, but that's I know why we need a new word. We need a new word that's not friends because yeah. you don't fuck your friends. It lasts. <laughs> Since when? But I friends. Know. Oh my god! Oh my god! What is happening? Wait, hold on. Bro. That's your. It's it's better to go ahead and share that with somebody that you trust than to be meeting randoms and I know that. slanging okay. that thing. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of things wrong with that. There's a lot of things wrong with that. There's a lot of things wrong with that. I mean, because what is the difference between like your girl introducing you, like, oh, this is my friend. Maybe he's a guy. Like, this is my friend. This is really my platonic friend. Versus, like, you're fucking that guy. Like, how, like, that's but he's not your, your friend. friend. You don't know anyway. We don't know if you're telling the truth. But are you going to be okay? Like, obviously, you don't know that we're telling the truth. Right. But, like, are you going to be okay knowing that you could agree with somebody that keeps friends that they've been fucking in the room around you and you don't know? Like, you're the dummy in the room that don't know. That might be just the, um... Other like people that. might know at that. We got we got other yeah, you friends at the room. Like, the more, Ooh, mm -hmm. what's the name done? What's you know. wrong? Oh man, yeah, well, you girl, asked twice. My girls can't. That's the double <laughs> standard, I guess. Uh -uh. Here my, we go. Let's get into it. Friends. Friends. This is crazy. This is really crazy. I have friends. <laughs> no, but no, your girls no. Can't have friends. You my friends can't have the friends. You I have boo things. You have. Yeah, that's like you have little yeah. That's a little yeah. That's a little yeah. They're not friends. Yeah, but I mean, I speak to them when they down. That's nice. okay. Well, you, like, you, you can do that to your little yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's really yeah, human of you. Yeah. yeah. You get, get on. <laughs> a friend, you take care of a friend. Y'all crazy. Well. You know, you act like <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I, I'm going to get to that. I just feel like that's not right. This is very, very, very interesting. Like, the friend, the male having a friend, the girls having a friend, because it's like, I just keep thinking about, like, would I be with this girl, my girl being like, yo, this is my friend. And it's just your and me just believing it's just our friend and they never fucked. It's what like, if you get cool with the guy and he's like, yeah, we, we ain't never did nothing. Now we, we both fucked her. Then, <laughs> <laughs> we know we both yeah. fucked her. You can't, so what, you can't <laughs> believe the guy. What if you have fucked? What if you have fucked in that? In, but y'all ain't fucking around no more. What, what like what how long ago that? was it? Like four years ago, five. If it was it was it last week? If it was like four or five years ago, I could see that. I could yeah. be like y'all, y'all friends. Like you never fucked yeah, again. Yeah, something like that. I could that, see that. Yeah. But if you're, if it was like within the last year, no, you're not friends. Last year, <laughs> he said I done moved on. That's a long time. No, it's not. The last year. What if we are friends? Like okay. you're not friends. Y'all was fucking. Okay. <laughs> y'all was fucking and sucking. That's what it Chances is. That's your little like, right? <laughs> That's all it is. <laughs> <what it is. laughs> We should. No, we need, we needed this. Through, yeah. We needed this because normally it's just me and the bro. <laughs> no, really, she like. It's just me and Wiz up here talking, and this is how we go back and forth when we yes. get on these male and female. This like it gets crazy. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like it, I don't be trash. having no opinion because you know. I can't really speak from my personal experience. 
think for you guys it's obviously way different, but for like a normal people, a normal relationship, no, like, I, th- no. I, th- I think that even as entertainers, I don't, I don't know if it's with Twist too, but mm. I'm pretty sure because we we pretty similar when it comes to uh, you know friends. Um, <laughs> <laughs> being famous doesn't help. That shit hurts. Like, yeah. it, it makes it worse. You got you gotta All your you gotta come here. from a different angle. Like mm-hmm. you really have to have personality. You really have to make somebody laugh. You really have to like have some substance, or they just gonna move on to the next nigga with the bag. Nigga, yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's like the bag Fucking really don't do too much. Hundred like, of y'all out there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but the 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 whole friendship part. I think every human being can can you know. Um, agree with that or has some type of situation like that even if you work at walmart or the bank Mm. somebody has somebody in their past before and that shit makes everybody uncomfortable on on any level especially la it's small as hell oh my god it's crazy out here so do y'all have the conversation like look (laughs) i done i done i done went to pound town with us Or is y'all keeping it a secret? Like, you know, is y'all being the night? You're like, why are you like, that's that's a secret question? Right on camera. I'm glad you we having that combo, or is it? Is we it, we're we gotta have. That. Or is I ignorance know. bliss? Like, they what's not, cracking? Like, I wish ignorance was bliss, but I mean, like. Here's the thing, right? <laughs> we got multiple friends. We run in the same circle. Um. Imagine if I let you live that ignorance is bliss, right? Mm-hmm. But then your homie come up to Ooh, you yeah. like, Ooh. yeah, I done got it in those. Okay. Yeah. Pound town in those at that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but how's she going? Like, how's she doing over yeah, there? Yeah, like, she's, how you she's a real build? nice girl, she's man. A oh great girl. You got a great yeah, girl. She's amazing. <laughs> in the <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> what are we going to do? It's Yikes. not easy having that conversation, but I think the conversation has to be had. That's for sure. Uh-huh. It's just it's like, like easy. Yeah. that's the right because then de- you have a choice. Yeah, I think I, it also depends on the dynamic too. Because I've had a situation like that where I talked to somebody, but I also had dated his friend like four years before. Four years. And yeah, that's a long time. time. About <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god! Can't really get into. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. It's getting sexy. Um, but I had to. Because <laughs> the guy kept posting him. Like, like they're friends. So he kept posting him. And I, like, the more he posted them, the more I was like, I cannot Ooh. tell him that I, you know. So, you know, I had to tell him. It was a mm-hmm. lot. But, you know, he was fine with it. He was like, oh, thanks for telling me. Like, it's about mm-hmm. open honesty. Co- yeah, honesty, open oh, communication, <laughs> and all of that. Because if people were in the dark. Did he bring it up? Did he bring it up? No, he didn't know. I brought it up. She was I'm sick. I'm saying, like, after he said that it was okay, did he still make it an issue? Did no. I have problems with no, that? No, never. That's gangster. Yeah. Would I think he just respected it? the fact that I told that him. Was that's people know. that was yeah. it. That was right? gangster. Yeah. He ain't, he ain't got to go no further. It was no eating further. me alive. He ain't got to <laughs> like, have shit in his secret. head no more. Because people be knowing, bro. You can yeah. feel it. Like, yeah. Yeah. You know Especially know when you're in the same setting. I yeah. didn't feel shit. Uh, <laughs> I didn't Ludi, feel shit, no. <laughs> Like, I thought, this was, I thought, now my shit was like, okay, got my girl, introduced me to this nigga that do music, he in the studio, he does this, he writes songs, whatever, and then, like, become cool with him, like, even talking about shit that I just want to do further, like, I want to do this with the girl project, this, da 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 and then it was just like, one day, it was like, yeah, I did such and such or was about to do such and such and didn't do it. And I'm like, like, you got me, like, with this nigga, shaking this nigga, texting this That's nigga. Dirty. Yeah. <laughs> That's dirty. That's fucked shit. up. And you could have just been, like, from the door, there was something happened, it was a drunk night, whatever the yeah. case may be, blah, 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 blah. And I would have just kept my distance and played it how I wanted to play it. Yeah. But she didn't, she didn't do give that. A chance. Like what? From, right on in. Like, from a male's perspective, like the guy who's like dabbing you up and working with you. It's not up to you, him. I know it's not up to him, but does is that a reflection on his character too, or like do you feel some type of way that he brought that up to you I, so I don't much like later it, down trying I, to work with you? I don't feel like it's no reflection on his character. I just feel like you know, as a nigga, if I was in that situation, I'm not just gonna bust out and tell the nigga, <laughs> yo. Jordy got we no nah, I'm not. But he eventually did though. He didn't tell. Oh, me. he didn't. Oh, okay, okay, okay. She did. Oh, oh yeah. It was like wait. It was like after you formed a bond. And yeah, all of that. it was like oh. after everything, it's a little too late. like before, and then now it's just like I just 
I still follow him, but I, I don't I don't like try to go link up and do anything music or it's awkward now. It's, it's hella awkward, you know awkward, what I mean? Baby. And to her, this shit wasn't a big deal, you know what I mean? And that shit is a huge deal. Like you said, her? just the fact of telling. You yeah. still with her? Nah. All right, right. Um, nah. But you know who you are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you do. For sure. <laughs> um, oh, real quick, I wanted to ask you too so we can kind of stay on, you know. Yeah, back to twist. The, the I week. said I love the conversation. It was you know what I mean? <laughs> That's what I was like, we were getting into it. it. That's Elena. That shit, it goes <laughs> down, yo. That was quick. That I needs to be talked about. I I want to talk about um I don't know if this is like too deep, but just like you've been in the industry for a long time. Like how do you maintain your mental health through all the bullshit? Well. <laughs> that weed. That, that weed. That ties of yeah. Right into the yeah. goddamn topic. This it's the question best answer. right here. Like how like how does weed affect you positive, like negative, like you know what I mean, with the music shit? Positively. It keeps me stable. Mm -hmm. Um, I went through so much, like I said, I've been in the industry for a minute, so I've had a lot of twists and turns throughout my journey. Um but weed has been able to keep me not being able to pay attention to the shit that could have affected me mm -hmm. at times the way they would write shit up in the media a minute ago and I just roll up and um, I, would, I wouldn't even see that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blind. Um, but negatively, um, my mom could say negatively that uh, I just, that's all I do. I, mm -hmm. I, I smoke it very, I smoke, since I started smoking at like 17, there was only three days. I'm 31. I just made 31 the other day. Congrats. 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 That's crazy, man. Nigga, old. I've been in this shit. That's for crazy. Shit. Yeah, you talk about being oh. in your 30s. Yeah. I met you like 13, 14. Yeah, right? exactly. Oh, wow. Well, you had more pounds than him? Huh? You said you had more pounds than Wiz had before? Chill out. <laughs> Ooh, wee. I said, Ooh, I, wee. Said, I said, I smoke more than my nigga. You, you think so? <laughs> What I'm smoking out of. I think I smoke more than my dog. <laughs> <laughs> standing on it. You standing but, on it. Shit. But, but, but we smoke a lot of weed. He do. But I That's what stuck, you know for. I'm stuck with Lil Wayne. Mm. Mm. And since, uh, like I was about to say, before, <laughs> before you fuck shit up, um, since I started smoking at 17, it's only been like three days because I did a Christian fast for Mac Main's mama. Shout out to Miss Mary P. She had me do like a Christian fast where it was three days and I just gave up something that I do all the time. That's cool. So I've only stopped smoking three days from 17 to 31. Okay. In a month and 28 days when I was forced to go to jail and couldn't smoke. But um, yeah, I love weed to answer those questions. <laughs> so I got an interjection on the weed too. Um, I sat in a session with Wayne for like 10 hours or maybe maybe even more because he gets to the studio late, right? Yeah. He gets to the studio super late. So I pulled up. It was probably like midnight, maybe. Yeah. And me and this nigga smoked for 10 hours straight. Wow. God, and didn't even make a song. Yeah. And his engineer was like, nigga, are y'all having a competition? Or like, what the yeah. fuck is going on? <laughs> and I didn't want to tap out. I was like, man, I got to keep rolling up. Because nigga Weezy's rolling up. And I had to go to the gym. I had my son and shit. So I was like, you know, Wayne, I'm, I'm going to leave, man. You know? <laughs> I'm still smoking, nigga. <laughs> I'm the smoke Olympics. He, he, that man smoked all day, He's a man. sick bastard. <laughs> uh, um... But my my main thing is uh, just being that you came into the game when you were younger, and a lot of people's uh, mind when they think about little twist might go straight back to the mohawk. Right. Mm -hmm. They might not know you right now, tatted up right. yeah. uh, with locks. You know, you're working on alternative music now. They might not know this side of you. Right. Um, do you ever regret? leaning into the weed side of things and think, well, maybe if I would have played it a little bit cleaner, I would have got, gotten in a different direction. I don't regret nothing because I learned from everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but if I could have a but, I, I regret getting into the hard, the more hardcore shit, the mm -hmm. prescribed pills that I got into. Because mm -hmm. that, that, like, 
transform my brain to um, think and act out towards people in a way that I probably would have never done if I didn't touch it. Mm -hmm. um, but like I said, I don't regret nothing because it made me who I am now. I'm being able to go to jail, learn from that, know that that know that I should have never touched that shit. Yeah. And um, yeah, that, no, I, no, I feel great. That's what's up. Because it's hard to stand up for what you believe in. Yeah. And the things that you know are good for you. And if weed is one of those things and people are telling you, like, you know, slow down or don't do this or it's, it's having this effect on you. And the fact that you know what things were pushing you in the right and wrong directions and you were able to filter that shit out. I think that's super duper important. Yeah. With not only being in entertainment, but just being a young adult. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah cool. man. Uh, I started fucking with those with the prescribed pills and shit, and that, that, that really messed, up. messed mm -hmm. up. Just a, a flow of things. Cause like I said, I started to be, started to act out in ways that I, I shouldn't have. Mm -hmm. And then later on, being able to see these new artists that came into the game, the, the peeps and little peeps and so on and so on that was taking these same things that I was taking by and by the honey pack and they dying. Mm. And I was, I, that really had to fuck my head up. Mm. Like, damn, I thank God that I got that out of my system so yeah. early, but it's, it's, it's just crazy. Damn, bro. Yeah. I didn't even look at it like that. Like, you feel like you made it up out of that shit. Yeah, like, sure. yeah. Well, before it got yeah. too late. Because yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Watching yeah. these kids that just now get popping, they come in the game mm. and they look good. They popping, and they taking the same shit that I was just doing the hundred, clearing the hundred of them, mm. and they die. Mm. And it's like, damn, that's if that ain't a eye opener for myself. Damn, I don't know what it is. Man, listen, that's one thing. Listen, I know, <laughs> like a lot of everybody be. The industry alone can make you like want to, you know what I mean? Like get into some shit. Like every day I'd be like, so I might not say it, but like every day I'd be like, I'm glad this nigga, my nigga, like ain't, you know what I mean? Get pulled into that yeah. shit and even be like, you know what I'm saying? Because you know how it is. The homie do something, nigga, this is what we doing. All it takes is one time you know for I'm some saying? people. So it's just like, I be saying shit like that to myself. Like, I'm glad this nigga just loves weed. Same, <laughs> much, same way I do type mm -hmm. shit. You know yeah. what I mean? Because mm -hmm. that shit is fucking... That shit that's, is that's, how it, that's how easy it happened. I was, I was, I don't know, probably... See, when I, I did my first and I'm the one with the money. I got the money, I'm popping. Mm -hmm. My two homies is in the room. They freestyling They're in the living room living room part of my hotel real sweet. I'm in the room, I can hear these niggas in the living room part freestyle and they going the hardest they've ever went. And I hear this shit in my room, I'm like, what the fuck, why these niggas going so hard? <laughs> like, I go out there, I'm like, man, what the fuck y'all niggas on? Like, what, why y'all going so hard? They're like, man, don't tell them, bro. Don't tell them. Oh. I'm like, man, what the, no, now I'm pressing them. Nigga, nah, nigga, what you, what you niggas on? I'll put y'all niggas out of my suite. <laughs> like, <laughs> What is y'all low, nigga? Like, <coughs> man, all right, it's this, man. Show me a fucking Xan, and from that point on, it was, it was, mm -hmm. it was a rap. I know you were, you said you were like 17 at that time. Yeah. So how did you handle being so young and navigating money and the drugs? Like, did you have somebody looking out for you, or were you mainly the one taking care of the family? No, I, I, I took care of the family. I had a role manager. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Mr. Wendell. Um, but when I got signed at 14, I moved out of my mama house and moved to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And uh, I bought fucking yeah, 14, 14, 14, 14. early. And my manager, Cortez Bryan, he had a condo at 12 in Atlanta, and but he was never there. So I basically had my own condo at 14. Damn. And I, I had. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's when you drop not out of high school. Like, how'd you even get around? Huh? Is when you drop yeah, out that's high when I, yeah, I dropped out. I did. I, I was in public school. Um, I would still go out and have to go do the Millie video shoot and shit, and then I go back to public school and I went and lied to Cortez. Well, I didn't really lie because they they was tripping, but I, I gassed it. Hmm. I'm like, Tez, I can't even walk the hallways no more. <laughs> you got to put me in homeschool. So he, he put me in homeschool and I, I moved out my mama crib, moved to Atlanta at 14, mm -hmm. and um, 
That's when Twitter came out, and that's when uh, I dropped out of high school because Twitter was out. Twitter was popping. Fuck high school. Fuck high school for real. Twitter. Social media. I was, I was <laughs> making myself a trending topic every yep, you all, all ten. Dang. Yep. That shit is insane. Out of the house at fourteen is crazy. Yeah, Do you ever wish you had like that normal high school experience? Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> I, was, I, 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 I never had it. I was a local star yeah. in Dallas. I had the number one song in Dallas when I was ten years old. Turns mm-hmm. out. So like I would eat in the in the teachers' lounge and shit when fifth <laughs> fifth grade. Like the Fox Four News would come do segments on me before I go to class in fifth grade. Oh, go shit. do the morning oh, show on the radios and shit. Didn't so, you get dropped from your label because you were getting bad grades? I did. I did drop. I got dropped from my first label when I was ten years old because I started to. <laughs> I started to fail in school. He, he, well, I didn't get dropped. I didn't get dropped from my label. That's a lie. Mm-hmm. I started to fail in school from um, just feeling myself and mm-hmm. shit. And my manager, label owner at that time, his name was Diamond D. He tried to tell my mama we're gonna take his album. Diamond D owned CD stores in like flea market malls around Dallas. He like a dope boy that mm-hmm. had a, a record label named Diamond Records. Had a lot of CD stores. He told my mama we're gonna take his album off the shelf since he fell in. And my mama was like, no, nah, like I'm gonna handle that at home. I'm gonna, I'm gonna right, whip like his you're ass. Not <laughs> you're, you're not his you're not his keep, keep the business going, I'll whip his ass. And he was so adamant about taking my album off. And my mom was like, well, no, nah, I'm gonna take him off your label. Mm, and that's how that happened. Yeah. That's how he got cut out of the Young Money picture. If he would have held on for a little bit longer. Diamond D, man. <laughs> Diamond he still, he still would have been. <laughs> Look, I got weird saying Diamond name, man. <laughs> Diamond, 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 Diamond D. Diamond, I'm fucking with you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I did weird hollering that shit. <laughs> he going to see this shit. He's going to revive that boy. <laughs> um, I got a question, too. So it's, it's hella interesting as far as um your journey being like a child prodigy in this shit, knowing so much about music, um, how do you feel the transition has been into your adult career? And like, what are some of the things that you expect for people to know about Twist as an adult? Um, the transition into my adult career has been smooth and, uh, but a, a, a lot of the personal shit that I was just telling you with the prescribed pills and stuff mm-hmm. was um, a bunch of learning, like learning steps for me that, mm-hmm. I, that I placed on myself. So by the grace of God, me and Wayne had a very close relationship. He took me in like, like his son, my dad having life in jail. Mm-hmm. Wayne really took me under his wing. So I, that's always kind of been like a crutch I was able to fall back on even when I got too comfortable at times when I shouldn't have got too comfortable with mm. YMCMB shit being so big. And then and being so comfortable, time is passing and I'm getting older. And now, with like I was telling you before we got on camera, we're making this alternative sound, mm-hmm. this alternative sound that I've been making. It's really good. Thank it you. Is. I'm yeah, it is. It's it's like like the first album drop. Star. <laughs> Look at y'all, so they got it. Yeah. We got be getting sneak peeks. Sorry. Yeah. He don't put too much in his clips. He just shows him uh, learning just the guitar. Strumming. Yeah, I can't. Like, shows you how he's the working. Music, please. Mm-hmm. It would be to play it for you. Yeah. Twist mm-hmm. out whole songs that I he can't has not dropped. <laughs> but uh, now I'm starting to feel like a, a a new artist. Yeah. A new artist for so long. I. Being a kid, I looked up to my brother and Wayne taking me out of my mama's house at 14. He was just a, a superhero before he became my brother. Mm-hmm. So he was someone to look to and also go into the studio but, and want to be just like mm-hmm. down to the walk, the talk, everything I wanted to be exactly like. Well, listen, my you got the talk down, pal. <laughs> you, you, you mastered that shit, my nigga. I closed my eyes and. It's the same. No, like, it's just, it's, 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 we just ends up funny. We just have a similar fucking tone always. Mm. I've always had a fucking. No, if you see like raspy voice videos of you when you're younger, you always had that yeah. same yeah. <laughs> voice. But uh, I just, I, I looked at him and wanted to be like him so much that. Mm, just now that I'm making a whole new sound, mm-hmm. I feel like it's going to be um, 
very fresh to the world like it is to myself. Yeah. Like a whole new person. Yeah. I was standing in the shadows of my brother since the Millie video shoot. Yep. Where I'm walking right behind him the whole video shoot. Mm. And just now, with making this music, I'm, I feel like I'm going to be able to separate those two mm. images in, in a way. That's a That's big good. thing, bro. I, I'm super happy for Man. you because... I've been in the studio with you before. You played me songs that never came out. Yeah. <laughs> or throughout the years, you played me whole projects. Yeah, right. Mm. And I've heard your talent, and I'll be like, man, this nigga is so sick. And I've heard your influence be around and come out, too. But <laughs> I've always noticed that you play your part. You never, you mm. never get upset at what happens or what doesn't happen. Right. You stay grinding. You stay in mode. And... The way that the game is, it just moves in waves. And the fact that you're an adult now is really interesting to see. Instead of you doing what's comfortable, you're doing something totally new, something right. scary, something that's challenging and pushing yourself. And I just think it's super interesting, and it deserves a lot of attention mm -hmm. from, from people who are tapped in with you and people who don't know anything about your story it, it's, it deserves a lot of attention I appreciate that, brother. for sure yeah for sure Dev, that's a fucking fact man like how how is it i just wanted to like ask like how was it like being under like an artist and you're an artist like how was that how was that walk for for you was it was it Difficult was there pros the cons you know what I mean? Not really. Uh, I was so young that it was just everything was up. everything was yeah. just cool. Yeah, I was so, yeah. so that dope. Makes like coming from high school to YMCMB, it, it, it was life went from zero to a million <laughs> real quick. So it was, yeah, I, and 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 I idolized Wayne before he became my brother. So it was. It was just like being signed to the biggest fucking rapper, which he was. Mm -hmm. So it, it was nothing. Mm -hmm. And I'm a kid, so I'm running around um, from Oak Cliff, from the hood, to tour buses, to jets, to fucking everything. Mm -hmm. it was, I, I was just enjoying the hype. Mm -hmm. And I, I reaped the benefits of Cortez Bryant, who found me and brought me to Wayne, who was Wayne's manager at the same time. So right when I got signed, Tez, we started working. Like Tez started putting my stuff out. I dropped my first single with Bow Wow. Dropped another single, me and my show, and me and Wayne do Love Affair. I was working towards the album, but that's when I started doing those prescribed pills and shit. Mm. So with the alternative era that you're about to hopefully release, um, do you think that's like your new path permanently <laughs> or you're open to all no, types no, of genres? For, sh for sure, I'm open to all types of genres, but I'm having so much more fun. Yeah, you can tell yeah. with the, yeah. like, you what you play. You can Listening tell. to some of your songs, it's like a range. Like yeah. he mm -hmm. goes from like even like an island vibe to sometimes yeah. like a, the alternative. Wow. To the, it's like you're not very limited to one genre. Yeah, I'm trying genre. to be very versatile, twist mm -hmm. them all together. I'm okay. intertwining rap, rock, alternative, all of that. And you actually learning the guitar and too. I'm learning yeah, the guitar, man. That shit How's is the so calluses? Hard. How's the calluses <laughs> on the finger? That shit is so hard, but I've been showing my bro all the time, like, bro, this shit cutting my finger. Yeah. That shit like, that's, how, that's how you know you shredding, bro. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult as fuck, bro. Yeah, no, it's like, definitely like, deterred me from learning like, the same. Calluses. You just suck for so long, mm -hmm. and then Don't like, and then me. it starts, to, <laughs> and then it starts to come together though, like, you know what I mean, like piece by piece, like. Smell like, uh, smell like teen, teen spirit. spirit. Yeah, yeah, teen yeah. spirit. Yeah, I'm playing that now, boy. I'm in there. I just keep playing it. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. you gotta keep doing oh, it. Oh man, so you're gonna so you're gonna rip it one time. You're gonna be like, yeah, bro. <laughs> like, you're gonna record that shit. You're gonna be like, yeah. fuck yeah. Time to move on to the next one. Playing on gonna... my records now. That's good. That's dope. That's what's up, bro. Yeah, that is fire. I'm having a great time with that shit. Y'all want to move on to some sexy talk? Yeah, let's, yeah, let's get into the sexy. Oh, what was your worst date ever and <laughs> why? <laughs> and it better not be sure. <laughs> it was not me. <laughs> sure, 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 I got some pretty good dates. Lane, <laughs> <laughs> you fast, bro. Hey, I just had to get that out of the air. Uh, like, 
That was quick, too. <laughs> Shark had a stray over there, dog. She was just chilling. I'm just sitting here. Uh, <laughs> it be your own like, blood. Hey, that, was some, that was some sibling. For context, me and Twist dated in, like, 2016. <laughs> like, Good time. But, yeah, we were very young. Well, it's right before you go to jail. I didn't hold See, it down. Uh, y'all knew no, that. I did y'all knew that, but the podcast didn't know I that. I know. It was like, we have to bring it up. <laughs> it's, like, it's like the mystery <laughs> segment, you know? That's what it does. That was the like, year I came to L.A. I moved to L.A. Yeah. I was like, who are you dating? <laughs> I did not hold it down. When Twist was to jail, I will say that. I'm so sorry. Whoa! <laughs> yes! That's why yes. I got, that's why I got these no, friends. Like now you see why I got these friends. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, let's let's it, was it, it was only a month, <laughs> Sean. I didn't know. It was a, like, you know what's crazy? You know how I found out that he was in jail? Because I went to I went to the court dates. So I was, you know, I was holding yeah, like, it down for that. You were trying to be a mob wife. Yeah, right. Point yeah, where you I didn't know that he actually got like so, so one day I'm just scrolling on Shay Room because I was calling I was like where the fuck is he at I was scrolling on Shay Room all I see is twist in jail <laughs> arrested and I was like what the hell your old man finding yeah, out that Shay Room was, was crazy I yeah. found out I had my warrant through TMZ that's wild that's crazy I was on a balcony in Miami <laughs> TMZ popped up an alert on my phone. I had a warrant out for my arrest. Shit. <laughs> like, oh, God I'm damn. Nope. I called my lawyer like, see if this is true. Like, yeah, it's true. Jeez. So yeah, how, did true. The, how did the conversation circle back? Like, once he was released out of jail, like, yeah, how did out? you and Shar rekindle? I don't, I don't even know, to be honest. Skip it. I was missing that big old boo. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. <laughs> I got to laugh on the mic for that one. And that's why we are not friends. (laughs) Right? Y'all are not friends. Y'all are not. Call me your friend. (laughs) Next next question. Talk about you missing people. Your worst date. Your worst date. date. Let's let's carry on. My worst date ever. Uh, I don't have too many. I don't really have bad dates. I don't have worst date. Damn. I don't know how to answer. What about best date? Like, what's up? Are, oh, yeah, best day and, like, are you the romantic type? Do you go all out yeah, for chicks? Valid, like, you valid, know valid, what I mean? Valid, like, valid, like what's, like, the, what's, what's like the most that, that you've like done that? for a chick? Like, you flying <laughs> chicks out, you getting the PJ, <laughs> you yikes. putting roses Whoa. on it, like, you know what I mean? Oh, like, wow, all that of that shit. What's up? Now we know how you roll. This ain't about me. You don't let me borrow the PJ, nigga. You gotta let me get the kids to the gym. Room, bro, <laughs> no, uh, my, la- my last little best date, um, my ex from a minute ago. We ain't gotta get no questions about her. Don't uh, worry. But um, I had a, a Japanese restaurant come to the crib and um, mm. cook. cook Damn, that's so cool. There we go. I'm gonna need some hibachi. I'm in love. That's player. Come on, eat it. I would like to say Why I never get that. Why do girls love hibachi so much? <laughs> Like if you get a girl about you, that means you really right. Right. Yeah. 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 It's interactive. Yeah. It's good. It's that's just a such a great experience. Like, about you at the crib. I thought it was going up, but came downstairs and the whole nigga got the fucking shrimp flip hat and shit. The crib is insane. All right. That's nice. That's hella players. You can do a lot off of that shit for sure. Was it a friend or was it? It was something real. It was something real. Yeah. No, it was his. We ain't friends now. She fucking hate me. You know why? You told us not to get into it. We're not going to get into it. All right, come on, next one. All right, sex on the first date, or are you holding out? I feel like I know the answer. (laughs) (laughs) He already told you that he. And if your partner partner doesn't want to do it, does that change your perspective of them on Mm, the first time? No. Sex on the first date, um, yes, this happens. It happens a lot. Uh, Thank you for being honest. Yeah, for sure. On the pod. <laughs> for sure. And um, does it change my perspective if it doesn't? No. Like nah. you're going to go for the second date? Yeah, but on the second time. That's where you draw the line. And the line. Like that's where you draw the line? All right. You should know by now. <laughs> like, you know what's up. You know what's up. What the fuck? You didn't figure it out? Get some three <laughs> points. <laughs> it's free games. I should be rewarded for the first day. This yeah. is crazy. I was a nice nigga. I didn't even... Out on the first 
first date. I want to know, yeah, for the men. What what about y'all two? Uh, I'll like, let Ludi go first. As <laughs> far as... The same question. Oh, sex on the... I mean, sex on the first date, or oh, you already know. Um, me, if I get some sex on the first date, the way I look at it is... is I Don't probably, try to answer politically. I yeah. probably know. Give me counsel me and shit. I, I probably... <laughs> I'm not going to be able to pursue that girl because I mm. think it's just probably how she's going. She's to, easy. She's what if she just into you? You can say that too. Because you is, know, some a lot, a lot that, of women just is, don't be fucking. To fuck. This is me. <laughs> this is my theory. Yeah. You know what I mean? How I see it. Like if I get someone the first night, I'm like, damn. Like she probably does this for the next nigga that she probably like or feel in some mm. type of way. Da 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 da. So I just, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't see myself pursuing them. I'm mm, like, oh, so it makes you look at them differently when they do all fun. of them. Yeah, like, Obviously. yeah, each one. You yeah, probably missing out on some great like, girls. Like, you like, probably like, missing out on some great girls. Where you like, ah, I could rock with you, like for a couple more no, bucks. No. Yeah, <laughs> one and none, no, not even. Because I feel like the way it be happening is just like you outside, I'm outside. It's the one and done. Mm, I'm not outside. outside. <laughs> you outside. Yeah. So you, like, like, oh, so you're like, talking about like if you meet someone just like a, but like what if you're like you went on a date, you went to the movies, you went to eat, and you're like let's go back to the crib. Like you're still like you had a great time, great conversation. And you're I like did, I'm probably whatever. gonna think she does that all the time. Mm. Oh, okay, mm. so it's like any circumstance. I can see that. I can see that. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. She can be feeling you. I was like, she just might just be into you. I'm gonna be like, yo, she just fucking with me. Yeah, I'm gonna put that shit down. Like she really feeling me. I was about to say, most women aren't just like you know out here. If they're fucking with you, it's because they want to. I think the the sex on the first night gets misconstrued or like just fucked up a lot because like chicks be wanting to have sex on the first night, but they don't be knowing how niggas is gonna deal with that shit. Mm Because a lot of niggas can't handle that. Like, you know what I mean? So for me, honestly, and this is just me personally, if I really, really like a girl, I ain't going to try her the first night because I'm going to eventually get that shit anyway. That like, so nice, Kim. But if she want it, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> so steady. How many, like, a lot of girls, a lot of girls, a lot of girls be mad as fuck because the nigga don't make a move. Like, they be like, yo, I want it. They be like, yeah. I wanted that shit and yeah. he didn't do nothing. So mm. it's like a fine line to fucking, like, I've, be I've, like, I've, whoa. I've <laughs> like, I don't, you got to feel it out. Yeah, yeah like, he wasn't here but if, the... I'm, if I'm really into a chick, I'm not gonna try it on the first night yeah, on some G that's, shit, that's like you know what I mean. I'll be like, I'll get that shit, like you know what I, I mean. It. Like I got a question because he wasn't here for when we asked this question. But you about to have sex with a girl, and you looking for the condom, and you ain't got a condom, but she just pull out a condom for you, and you just met her. How does that make you feel, or do you have any like judgment on that? No. Shorty, please practice right. safe sex. <laughs> She is prepared. <laughs> All right, she's, she's, an so she is, she's an prepared adult. She's an adult. Prepared shorty. All Would right. you like to hear your partner over here? What he said? Is this somebody? Is this somebody you can pursue? Like, a, like, I'm a. Get Honestly, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to know like her. Like, this is just some G shit, woman. bro. Since I'm, she been safe. We're older, right? I don't know if niggas know how old I am. I'm 36, <laughs> bro. That's close to 40 <laughs> years old. Jerome Bell. At 36, close to 40 and shit. You're not worried about, like... I'm not worried about that. If I'm a fuck with a girl, I'm not worried about what she did with another nigga or how he had her bent over or what she was sucking <laughs> on or none of that. Like, I'm not thinking about that shit while I'm dealing with her. Ugh. So if she got a condom, I'm like, thank goodness, because I was trying to <laughs> smash I'm trying to, God. I'm trying to get into the We both know why we here. One of us got this motherfucker. Like, we could go on a mission together. <laughs> If I don't got something, you gonna fucking have it. Right. That's what I'm thinking about. That's what I'm talking about. I'm like, this, this girl's resourceful. <laughs> this was the this was, She's this prepared. This she was the scenario. Prepared. I was like, kind I of it. feeling this girl. Yeah. And being like, I maybe get to know her. Da, 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 da. But like the second day, she, we linked up and it was about to go down and I couldn't find one. And she was like, here, I, like, I got something in my purse. And I just was like. The purse. It's the purse oh, I got you. Man, huh? like. I understand the carrying them being safe, but I also think about this chick be outside. What too. if she knew she was coming to see you? Yeah, right. She just she had that. Don't, he don't be thinking about that. He don't be 
me think about that. Yeah, it's just, it's, it was, it was. She was like, like, yo, what I'm if going she to had some at the crib? She's like, oh, I'm, I'm, about, I'm sure about to go I'm see light. Let me go, <laughs> let me go throw a couple condoms in the bag just in case. She I might wish, be a freak, I, fam. I, I wish that was the only thing I could see. Think that's of. the thing, like <laughs> niggas be wanting that girl to be a freak until she really a fucking <laughs> freak. <laughs> And then they're like, oh, I don't I want her as my girl no more. I don't want her to be my girl no more because I mean, she, was, she, she got freaky it. for me, too, so she got freaky for somebody. And she a freaky she 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 that shit from. I feel like the niggas should always have the condom. Mm. And if they don't, what if Do y'all both like don't have that? Man? I've been in both going situations. In I'm pretty sure you have, but do you feel like majority should be? But I feel you doing some, like, pursuing a type shit, like, it's she just, probably just out there throwing that motherfucker around the end. No, like, you always ready. Like, I want you to not have you it and not give ready. a nigga none. Yeah. I mean, are you going to stop Momentum and go to the store and go get you a condom? Am like, I going to stop them and go get my own? No, like, stop. Like, you're you're in it. You know what I'm saying? We, we here now, <laughs> and we both don't have a condom. And are you going to stop the sex and be like, ah, uh, maybe another night? Are you going to be thank God go I, raw or go to the store? Soon? Thank God I, I got a little Seven Eleven right by my crib, so he I go always. Oh, he's stopping the men- momentum. Yeah. My question for the hmm. women: Ain't on no the- stopping momentum. <laughs> it is if we get it into is. it and we like kissing and touching, and then we both looking for a condom. Then it's like yeah, yeah. yeah. Got, get it for, for out, women. You know, they, yeah, the momentum can stop very. Store. I feel like Awkward guys silence. can get it back up again yes. or whatever, that, but for women they take a little bit. It's more mental. Right back up. Us, you gotta for the man. foreplay. You gotta you don't come back. Oh, yeah. 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 It's yeah. definitely more mental for women. So it's like, damn, we stopping here. Yeah. Well, are you? Or are you just done. gonna try to get to it? No, I'm gonna do something different because I like you said. <laughs> it's it it's died down. So it's like, nigga, the whole time, like, you can't go back in there and just be like, let's keep it. No, nah, you need to figure <laughs> some shit out on the now, way there to, you know what I mean, heat it back up. Now, like I answered him, I've been in both situations, but majority of the time. I'm gonna hit 7 Eleven. Mm. Oh, okay. I'm gonna do it Hey, I know this guy. He's back. <laughs> He's back. What you got to He knows your order. <laughs> you my daughter. Y'all ever pulled a condom out? No. 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 <laughs> Never. Miss. Because it's protection, why not, though? I just would never, I've never been in that situation, but I also don't carry condoms, but I don't like. You don't like how it, the look. So, it from gives. a woman's perspective, like, what does this it take for saying. her to have condoms in her no, bag? No, I think that she's prepared. I have the same thought okay. process as well, you okay. can. I don't, yeah, don't, I don't knock them for having it. I don't do that, though. <laughs> but I'm not knocking a woman who does. He I just think that she's like? a prepared person. Like, she's you know out there. Like, she's probably dating. Like, you never but know what's going to happen. Y'all went and linked with guys. Y'all probably knew it was going down and still didn't bring them. Cause they usually have them. Yeah, to be honest. Yes. That's what I'm. That's where I'm. But telling. like, yeah. if you are, if you're a woman that is prepared in all aspects of life, you're gonna have that condom. Right. Like, that's just a character trait. I feel like, or you're being safe. Keep them off, but not. <laughs> that's just like not. So a, they gotta be strippers. <laughs> no, they do. I'm they do. <laughs> but my question for the girls the was: if wipes. a man tries <laughs> to fuck on the first night, <laughs> are you looking at him different? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, no. I would I say try. no. <laughs> I want to know this before I go try. Definitely. So okay, let me, let me ask again. For the women, uh-huh. if a man wants to fuck on the first night, are you looking at him different? Is that a turn off? No. no. Because if we're vibing and having a good time, like... More likely, I'm probably with it. Yeah, it's, like, right? it's, it's really similar to that, like how your mindset on it is. Like, I'm kind of cocky with it. Like, yeah. of course you want to fuck. Like, well, I'm fuck. amazing. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. let's get into it. Like, we're vibing. Like, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, you're still I'm expecting you them it. eyes. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, we, we get a little I'm going to see you try it. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh like, man. We're just cocky with it. Like, <laughs> we are cocky. Yeah, you want to fuck. I'll be like, why don't you? Why don't you want to fuck? Because if you don't want to fuck, it might get me a little bit where I'm just like, now you're hurting my feelings. You're hurting my feelings. Yeah. What's, the, what's the right thing to do to like cross that threshold? You just got that that eye. The eye. Like, yeah, yeah, it's it's like eye. a vibe with the <laughs> eye. Like, I would just say that. <laughs> I would say it. <laughs> Let the woman lead a little bit. Yeah, she, a, woman a woman gonna let you know she, yes. you know, is down don't, to do it. Do not get aggressive. Do not get weird. Yeah, because play it cool. Feel, feel her don't out. Entitled. Yes. Almost be shocked that she's getting yeah. it. Like, like, oh my god. Wow. Like, me? me? <laughs> oh, you choose I'm me. Worthy? <laughs> yes. I'm like, never shocked. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Please. 
I do the shocking. <laughs> Here I am again. It's <laughs> <laughs> number 11. All right. Number one. Day three. Get a load of this. Oh yeah, you can't door dash. Oh, they bring the rubs to the yeah, to the yeah. door. Okay, we got. Are so you door are you door dashing bags. beforehand, or is it one of those things where you're like, I've been in both situations. <laughs> 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 well, I respect it. Same sex. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Great sex. <laughs> Learning lessons. All right, so we we uh, you know, this is the stunned and sexy podcast. This yeah. this one right here doesn't really. Go for the ladies, but you was talking about like the big, you know, you you smoking, you smoke more than Wiz. I'm gonna smoke one of these papers for them. Right I mean, now. as much as I don't, as much as, like as a, much as I, I can't, like I can't disrespect my more. brother. You come Wiz, <laughs> Wiz is a fucking Wiz is. You gotta do he's one on of the these weed. He's on the weed Mount Rushmore. I ain't, I ain't there. <laughs> I ain't there. So okay, but, but young I money. To, I had to feel myself, but I know we smoke. A lot. Y'all smoke a ton of weed, and I've been there, and I've, and at the top of the top of the weed smokers that I've ever been around, y'all are up there. Mm. There you go. And oh and for everybody problems. who can talk about weed smoking, because I got my I got my own top of the top. <gasps> you got but, your top question. three. What? But my There's but my scoop? niggas, anybody who I was like who I would really smoke with, where everybody's gone and we still up smoking, they're like, yo, them niggas, they mm. get stoned over there. Mm. And anytime we we smoke, it's the best of the best. So, hats off, locks <clears throat> down. Yes, sir. You know what I mean. Yes, as much as. <laughs> as much as. <laughs> it's not greater than or less than. Because I'm not. As much as. <laughs> right, I fixed it. I cleared it. <laughs> you a shit star. I'm not a shit. shit. I just was saying what you said. Because I was bringing bottles yeah. and bowls and <laughs> shit that this yeah, nigga don't even smoke. And he'll be like, bro, I, I don't you're even right. want to do that. I just want to smoke weed. You're right. He'd be like, I just want to smoke. We had that whole fucking... Fucking armory of shit, man. Shit. Motherfuckers would come up and be like, I just was came here for the weed. Y'all niggas doing all yeah, this yeah, extra tripping. shit. You ever done the 10 Pump Challenge? What the? Where it's like, you in? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I you did, I did on, it on with you. Yeah, 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 we Nigga did. Who won? And I won. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> it's, quite it's, it's quite it's possible. It's quite possible. It's quite possible. Right Let's do it again. I ain't prepared to do it. What you mean you ain't prepared? Let's give go. Like that he's up. not trying to give up the title. Like that bitch up. No, we, every day we training, so you always prepared. <laughs> <laughs> we right, let's say he's smoking right? all day. That's true. He ain't lying. Yeah, because we woke up smoking, so yeah. Yeah, you got to light that. Them, them uh, pre-roll joints, you got to light them a little bit more for them to all get. All right, all right. Get even. Yeah. And this is, and it's not a competition. Go. It's just to get it's super not. stoned to to move forward. I thought, I thought we like competitions over no, here. Yeah. I don't compete with my brothers, man. Aww. Especially with He's weed. Trying. Weed I is weed is, <laughs> is, <laughs> weed is, <laughs> is weed political is, answer. What y'all just talking about? Peace. Toxic masculinity and shit like that. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to, I'm trying to bring, bring us together. I'm trying to show men that we can participate. It doesn't always have to be about who has the biggest joint. I'm motherfucking. I'm about to roll. My my joint. I tried to do it on you, brother. But oh, that one ain't. That one's not pulling. Mm -mm. What you do in the backwoods? You over here. Yeah, that got the hash hole in it, man. That's gonna kill me. Yeah, bless you, (laughs) bless your lungs. That's gonna be. That's that's gonna be a little bit harsh. That's that's better, man. He's all right. This this interview's gonna get real cool. Yeah, yeah, count them off. So it's really just like how many you could do. But ten is the number. Two. Oh, Three. Four. Four. Then we'll go faster. Five. five six, six. Seven. seven eight, eight. Nine. nine ten. Ooh. Oh, my God. My chest. Yeah, I know. This shit is quite no. Wow. Well, he was pulling, too. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. I could never. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I said, damn, y'all oh, my like God. <laughs> Where's my hat? Right here. Oh, there it is. Oh, my God. Where's my hat? Where's my hat? Where's my hat? Where's my hat? Thank you. Thank you, bro. You said somebody take that shit. Wow. I'm getting stoned over here. I'm definitely getting contact. Y'all go ahead. I'm about to get 
Y'all finish this shit up, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you taking a nap. No, definitely, it's over. Definitely, definitely uh, appreciate you pulling up, man. Not love, brother. Anytime you got anything going on, more than welcome to pull up, come nah, promote that shit. It. You know what I'm saying? That, All of that man. shit. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it. You was on tour with, with Weezy. Was that last year? Yeah. Are y'all going on tour again? Yeah, he's about to mm. go back out. Uh, but I told... GU, with me making this new sound, mm -hmm. well, I was going out there performing um, this new rap song that I have with him called Attic that I haven't dropped yet. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a good song. <laughs> but um, I was doing that on this on that le on that on that tour last mm -hmm. year. But now that I'm having so much fun with this alternative shit, I was like, I don't want to go out there in front of that rap. The rap crowd, crowd yeah. yeah. Like I wanna I wanna get to focusing on putting this shit out. So. So that's, that's, what's what, that's what's next for you? That is what's next. And and I got everyone excited. So I'm can't just, wait. Just, and we can't wait. Like you know, we say tell, we tell you to drop it every day. So mm -hmm. well, thank you. Try to start. Yeah, man. Welcome My sister Twisty. Laney. I love Twist. Wiz, well, I appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you, you know, too, Gabby. Appreciate We're going to write some songs. Yeah, y'all are killing me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to be back.